Hello everyone, I am the Desert Gardener and today we have a really quick product review. So I've got my tea, let's get started. Now I wanted to talk about planter saucers. Now if you're not familiar with them, they're just uh, these little uh, plate looking things that you can set on a surface and you can pick up a, a planter, put them on, and it'll protect whatever surface you're on. So if you have a really nice wood deck or something, you may need a few of these. Now, I really don't use them outdoors. I only use them indoors. So for example, if there's going to be a storm or a frost or something like that, I'll spread them out all over my house and I bring all my pepper plants indoors to protect them. And it works pretty good. And it's also really great if you're planning on overwintering anything. Now they come in a variety of uh, colors and sizes and materials. Everything from these uh, cheap plastic ones all the way up to stone and terracotta ones. But those ones can be kind of expensive. So I, I usually have a few of these uh, plastic ones on hand. Now that isn't really what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to talk about is the difference between some of these. For example, this one here is made by Mainstays. And this one here is made by a company called Vigorgo. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. Now if you listen, you can probably tell this is a very cheap, thin plastic. And what happens is they end up splitting. And like this one here, they split and they no longer hold water. I purchased a bunch of these a year or two ago and I've had to throw most of them away because they split and cracked. Whereas the mainstay ones, you can probably hear, these are much stronger, much sturdier, but they're about the same price. So there's really no reason not to get the better quality ones since they're the same price. Now these again are mainstays. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, a Walmart uh, only brand. So you can probably only get it from Walmart. But since Walmart's pretty much everywhere, at least here in the States, it should be pretty easy to get. I get my groceries through their uh, curbside pickup. So I order my uh, fruits and vegetables. I'll get some potting soil. I'll get a few of these and they put them right in your trunk. It works great. So I def definitely recommend having a few of these on hand. Um, you never know when you might have to bring a few things indoors. Or like I said, if you're planning on overwintering a few peppers. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed and got something out of it. Now we definitely have a few more tip videos planned as well as some uh, uh, Mythbuster videos planned. And in a day or two, we're going to be planting our tomatoes out in the garden. So I hope to see you then.